Hi, in an earlier tutorial, I have shown you how to display a list of values by implementing list view with view holder design pattern. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do the same thing using a more advanced and flexible version of list view called recycler view. So let's get started. The recycler view is a view group subclass that renders any adapter based view in a similar way like list view and grid view does. Using recycler view is specially helpful when you have data collections whose items change at runtime based on user interaction or network events. It also provides animation support for removing and adding elements. The overall container for your user interface is a recycler view object that you can add to your layout. What are the components of recycler view? Number one, recycler view dot view holder. You should define a class by extending recycler view dot view holder class. The views in the list are represented by objects of this class. Each view holder is responsible for displaying a single item with a view. The recycler view creates only as many view holders as needed to display on the screen, plus a few extra. As the user scrolls through the list, the recycler view takes the off-screen views and rebinds them to the data which is scrolling onto the screen. Number 2. Recycler view dot adapter. You need to create an adapter class by extending recycler view dot adapter, which will be responsible for managing the view holder objects. The adapter creates view holders as needed. It also binds the view holders to their data. It does this by assigning the view holder to a position and calling the adapters on bind view holder method. In this method, the view holder's position is used to determine what the contents should be based on its list position. Recycler view fills itself with views provided by a layout manager that you provide. A layout manager positions item views inside the recycler view. Linear Layout Manager and Grid Layout Manager are two built-in layout managers that you can use or you can implement your own custom layout manager by extending the RecyclerView.LayoutManager class. How to use the Recycler View? Number one, open the build.gradle file for your app module and add the support library to the dependencies section. Number two, add Recycler View to your layout. Number three, create a custom XML layout file to show a single item. Number four, create recycler view dot adapter and recycler view dot view holder subclasses to render the items. And number five, obtain a handle to recycler view object, connect it to a layout manager and attach adapter for the data to be displayed. Let's see the concepts in action now. Open Android Studio and click start a new Android Studio project. As you can see, empty activity is by default selected. Click next. Write the project name. Write the package name. It's usually your website in reverse order, then a dot, then the project name. I'm going to save the project on my desktop for language, select Java and for minimum SDK, select API 16 or Android Jelly Bean. Click finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your empty project. Go to activity underscore main dot XML. I will delete this text view. Just delete this line. And I will change this layout to linear layout. Go to design. From the common drag and drop a recycler view into the linear layout. Click sync now. A 
it will include the required library in build.gradle file. Press Alt Enter and select Add Dependency on Android X dot Recycler View colon Recycler View. Okay. Now I am going to copy the images for this project. Go to RES, Drawable, right click and paste the graphics inside Drawable folder. By the way, I have downloaded the graphics from this site. If you scroll down, you will find the download button. And it says made by CONPA or CONPA under MIT license. Next, I will design the XML file for a single item. Go to Layout, New, Layout Resource File, write the file name, single item for me. For the root element, I will use Linear Layout and click OK. Here, first go to Design and drag and drop an image view. Select an image, click OK. Go to code, change this to wrap underscore content. Then I will use another vertical linear layout to display the title and description for our programs. Linear layout for layout underscore width attribute, it should be match underscore parent, and for layout underscore height, it should be wrap underscore content. Orientation should be vertical. Here I will use two text views. Text view, wrap content, wrap content. For text, I will use title. And for text size, write 20 SP. I'm just going to copy this and paste below for the text view for description for the first text views ID I will give text view 1 and for the second text views ID I will use text view 2. For the first image view, I will give some margin. So write android colon layout underscore margin 10 dp. Check the design. I will change the orientation to horizontal which is by default so it, this piece of code is not required. Just remove that. Just change the layout underscore height attribute to wrap underscore content. Next, go to main activity dot Java. Declare a recycler view object reference. Declare an adapter. Declare a layout manager. Next we will prepare our data set. Let's create two string arrays for program name and program description respectively. Define an integer array to hold the image resource IDs. Inside onCreate, obtain a handle for the recycler view. I think we have not defined the ID for the recycler view, go to activity underscore main dot xml, go to code and for id write at plus id for us slash rv for recycler view program. 
go to main activity or java and here write rb program next you may use these settings to improve performance if you know that changes in the content do not change the layout size of the recycler view use a linear layout manager now and pass this for context next we will create the adapter by extending recycler view dot adapter this custom view holder will give access to our views so right click on package new java class and write the class name program adapter and this will extend recycler view dot adapter in the brackets write program adapter dot view holder click on the red squiggly line press alt enter and select implement methods select all the three methods click ok inside the class scope declare variables to store data from the constructor create a static inner class and provide references to all the views for each data item this is particularly useful for caching the views within the item layout for fast access press alt enter and select create constructor matching super declare member variables for all the views in a row store the item sub views in member variables next provide a suitable constructor for program adapter initialize the class scope variables with values received from constructor this dot context equals to context next implement the on create view holder that creates new views to be invoked by the layout manager create a layout inflator object inflate the custom layout return a new holder instance next replace the contents of a view to be invoked by the layout manager here get element from your data set at this position and replace the contents of the view with that element holder dot row name dot set text inside that pass program name list within brackets position next go to main activity dot java and create an instance of program adapter pass context and all the array elements to the constructor program adapter equals to new program adapter for context pass this and pass all the three array elements program name list program description list and program images attach the adapter with the recycler view finally go to program adapter and inside this get item count return program name list or program description both array contents same number of items then dot length run the application to check the output 
As you can see, the recycler view is populated with the data set we have provided. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this.